The High Court Marshals visited the New Building Society NBS headquarters at about noon on Tuesday to levy assets of the NBS to the amount of $59 million. This is in keeping with an order issued in the case of wrongful dismissal of former Chief Executive Officer Maurice Arjun 12 years ago. Representing Arjun is attorney at Los Sanjeev Datadin, who told reporters that the NBS is interrupting the process, which was already started with the removal of one vehicle. He explained that the bank's action can be seen as a contempt of court. However, attorney Pauline Chase, who is representing the bank, said an appeal was filed in the case and therefore the action should not have been taken. There's an application pending in the court of Nevada State uh, of the judgment. A stay has, actually, I should say, a stay has been granted in part. Um, so the there's an application pending in regard to the other part of the judgment. So our position is, is that we ought properly await the hearing and determination of the full bench of that matter before the stay, uh, or rather before the levy is executed. It's quite irregular for it to be done in that kind of way. Let the process of the court uh, run, and then we can then we can move. On the other hand, Datadin noted that the appeal is still pending and therefore does not prevent the execution of the levy. An appeal is pending, but you know the way the world works. You you've lost. They've lost. They, there was a judgment. Uh, they filed an appeal, they applied for a stay of execution, that stay is refused. But the appeal, the, the excellent appeal is still pending. Does it, there's no order to stop. The, the order is made for judgment. The Court of Appeal affirmed that, they, that there's no stay of execution on that judgment. So we're carrying it out. He pointed out that Mr. Arjun has waited 12 years and questioned how much longer will he await an appeal. While the police do have the right to enter the premises by force, Deputy Commander of A Division Wendell Blanham said he hopes good sense will prevail and that NBS officials will unlock the doors. The Deputy Commander was at the scene with other officers. In June 2007, Arjun, who served as CEO of the bank, was dismissed along with two others following the disappearance of $69 million from the account of BB Khan. The men were subsequently exonerated of the charges. Arjun had previously acquired a $79 million judgment in the High Court following a wrongful dismissal lawsuit. However, the awarded sum was broken down to the tune of $59 million following hearings in the Appeal Court. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.